In this video, I'm going to show you how to attack the right side of the field when you are in the tight slots halfback weak formation. This formation is pretty heavily centered to the left side, so I think it's always important uh, to be able to have some really good routes to the right side to be able to make sure that the defense has to, you know, pretty much be honest on both sides. They can't favor one side or the other uh, when they're defending, and this also is going to help you beat man coverage. Um, we're going to do some isolation stuff with the running back to make it really effective against man. If you want to get my entire tight slots halfback weak offensive ebook make sure you join the patreon the link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below the play we're going to be going over is mesh spot i'm in the colts playbook and really main purpose of this play is for this running back wheel route on the left side of the screen now what you're going to do with this is you're going to block your tight end you're going to streak your right side receiver and then you're going to put the left side receiver on either a crosser you could also put him on a post route i really like the simple uh crosser because it gets a little deeper down the field against zone and what you'll see against this play with man coverage is this route to the running back has a really good chance of getting over the top but as you notice if they do have a deep route knockout on that running back route then they do have a pretty good shot at being able to uh, take it away so another reason why this is a really really good play is because when you block your tight end out of tight slots it does a really good job of picking up a lot of these meta blitzes and again if they are guarding that guy with anybody that does not have deep route knockout he is going to be able to consistently get over the top of the man-to-man -man coverage now another thing about him getting over the top of man-to-man -to -man coverage is really in the fact that you can freeform and highball this against pretty much anything. So again, you want to hold left trigger and you want to hold uh, L1 and you want to just freeform him up and over the top of the defender to leverage wherever the leverage or wherever the space is that he has. You want to try to freeform that uh, just like that. So like I said, they have to have some kind of deep route KO over the top of him. A lot of times another thing people will do is they'll do something like this because we know that in this formation, we like to throw deep corner routes to the left side against man coverage. So, you know, you might, you're going to see them start to adapt their coverage and I'm not saying to block the tight end every time. This is kind of a situational play call when you want to attack the right side of the field and you happen to be on the right hash mark of the field. The beauty of this, though, is this drag underneath normally will do just fine at being able to attack man coverage across the middle of the field. And then the other thing that you have um, in terms of man-to-man -man specifically is this crosser. Now, this crosser is really good against uh, zone Against man, it is going to take a little bit of like getting used to, but really you just want to freeform him to leverage just like that. If they do have a knockout ability, you want to basically ag back to the ball, which I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, and then you also uh, you also have, like I said, this underneath drag they have to respect. A lot of people aren't going to be putting zones to the right side uh, just because it's very rare that you attack uh, to that sideline. But as you'll see right here, you know, you can throw that on the sideline just like that. Now, if they have, as you can see, I have a, a deep route knockout. So one thing you can do if you're getting a lot of man coverage in this is you can also run just a simple, uh, the simple slot apprentice post. It just beats man coverage better, and it's easier to you see how I act back to the ball. It's easier to ag away from KOs and man coverage. So if you're playing somebody that's running a lot more man, I would recommend a post. Um, if you're playing someone that's running more zone, I'd recommend the crosser. You can still throw this crosser against man coverage. Um, same kind of thought process. You want to ag back. But it is if he doesn't get the separation, he doesn't get the separation. And the crosser this year, just for whatever reason, um, it just doesn't get the best uh, separation against man-to-man -man, uh, for whatever reason. So, again, kind of depending on how they're playing this um, is going to – you know, tell you how you need to throw it and what route you need to use, whether it's the crosser or it's the, um, or suppose, but as you see right there, able to get some separation. Okay. So what about zone coverage uh, real quick? So zone coverage, basically because we're on the right hash mark, this right side player will clear out anything that's not a 30 yard cloud and this crosser will get over the top of those zones. So you'll see right here, you just throw this on the sideline. Again, kind of try to stay away from the KO as best as you can. And um, you're gonna have a really nice read. And so what do they have to do with their user? Well, with their user, they're gonna have to go user the crosser um, over the top of the defense. So what that does is it's gonna leave this little void in the middle of the field quick here where we can throw that over the middle of the field. Okay, so if they're ever leaving that void and they are playing true hard flats, 
I would say that's the hardest defense to beat. It's like if they're in like a cover four baseline press. Um, let me show you that. So they're, you know, baseline uh, press cover four drop. And they're going to use her this and they're going to shade underneath. They have this yellow zone over here to stop this route to uh, Cromartie. So you do have a small window, like high ball window right up in that little area, but it, it is a little tight. So this to me is the best way to defend this play is some type of like true like cover four zone where we're going to have, you know, the ability to use her that. The problem is if you think about it, a lot of people aren't running that against this. They're going to do something like this. Um, they definitely are going to probably have a hard flat over here. Um, and then again, their users in, in conflict now because, you know, they might have this guy manned up. This guy, this guy can be very, you know, extremely, th this defense doesn't stop other stuff we do out of tight slots. And so that's the idea. This is really a great little constraint play to make sure that you're always living uh, in a perfect world. But as you can see, if they don't use that crosser, that's got a really good chance at being able to attack and get over the top of any kind of zone the same thing is true of the post i just think the post is a little bit easier um from a user perspective because if you look at this here like i can still throw that i mean yes it's more open on the sideline but again it's it's it, there's a it's closer in proximity to the drag so that's something to kind of think about if you do get zone you can run a setup like this this is a really good setup against zone out of this formation because they almost it's almost impossible to defend this in zone because the seam wheel is so effective at you know kind of being able to of course I say that I throw the pick but the seam wheel is so effective at being able to break down zone coverage hook curls actually to the wide side of the field hook curls are not the worst uh, zone in the game like they're pretty decent but if you did something like this you'll see there is this little window right in there if they don't have a ko which i have been zone ko but um where you can hit that so that's just something to think about another thing you can do is let's say they are you know truly running the cover four stuff i really like this right here that we talked we've talked about this setup before but this setup is really good for this kind of coverage because of how you don't really need a pull route for a slant route. So anyways, this is how I like to utilize uh, mesh spot to be able to really attack the right side of the field. And what that allows me to do is it then allows me to be able to have way more uh, opportunity to be able to then attack the left side of the field of the formation. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire tight slots halfback ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is down in the description below.